Hello for guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, eh? Yeah, well, before this virus thing happening, uh, I, have, <laughs> I haven't been feeling like filming, guys. But anyway, so I thought my daughter, Geneva, when I started um, like cooking segments, she, she asked me if I could um, make this particular food for her. And I always push it back, push it back. I wanted to do other foods and some of the other uh, requests um, anyway but I thought okay I'll make her one since yesterday was her birthday and I thought okay okay stop bugging me I'll do it for your birthday uh -huh. anyway you know what she wanted wanted me to make guys uh, filet silver beet like fly spinach mm. anyway I'll show you the ingredients guys uh -huh lamb that's already chopped up by the butcher and i got one onion silver beet and tomatoes and that's the pot that i'm going to cook it in and i'll also be boiling green bananas so that's the pot i'm putting in there um green bananas in and here's all the little bits and pieces that i'll be using to make it all nice Okay guys, so I've got garlic, magic seasoning, and chicken powder seasoning, salt and pepper, I'll be using a little soy sauce and oil, okay? There's canola oil, but I prefer to use vegetable oil, but today I've only got canola. And you know, beggars can't be cheeses. And that's the fatty. That's the lamb. Time to put everything together, guys. But first of all, I've got to wash these, the lamb, and put it in the pot, put it on the oven. Okay, guys, time for cooker. Okay, it's time to uh, put the banana together, guys. But I tell you what, it takes some, you know, some people, they'll just, you know, like, get the pot, break up the banana. Put it inside the pot and then they put the water in and they boil it. No, not me. I do it the wrong version. I do I've been doing it for so many years. Anyways, what's my plastic bag? Anyway, guys. So. What I do, I always chop up the end parts and I put it into the pot. I know I do this all the time. Oh wow, it's a it's a cooker. Look how nice and stocky these bananas are. Hey, they're nice and fat. Not like some bananas you find at the shop. Skinny a bit. Wow. Mmm. I hate it. Eh, 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 ah, yeah. They're hollow, you know, like hollow inside when you eat the, the skinny bananas. So I, I get excited when you get the, the chubby ones, the one that's got meat. Okay. Yeah. And then... When I've done all this, right, you put water in it. Some people can start with hot water, get the thing boiling faster. I put warm water because I'm cooking with gas, guys, and that boils like you boil it, go sit down. You haven't even sat down properly, and it's time for you to come back and take it out. I know it's a bit of saturation, but similar to the truth. Anyway, guys. So my husband, he always puts oil into the water. Got no water in it at the moment, but no difference. I'll put, put some oil in it now. He says because the banana is like sticky when you boil it, but with the oil, you can um, peel it properly without having it be sticky. I've never even thought of that. Is that very true? Because it can be oily. No, not really, because the oil gets boiled. 
OMG, it actually got something right. <laughs> no. <laughs> Leave my husband alone. Wink, wink. Yep, now these two can hang out together while I go and chop up my onion. Do you, do you sometimes uh, do your cooking and then you cut your onions for certain food in a different way of cutting? So that doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, because I'm going to um, do this silver bee. Most of the times when I cook with cabbage, guys, I tend to cut my onion long ways. Like this way, not that way. I don't know. It just gives me this feeling that it's better to cut it the other way because it's going to be long, you know, strands with the silver bee. Oh, ah, yeah. Yeah. Yum, yeah, yeah. Anyway. So I'm just asking because there are certain cuts I know that you cut it like for soups and stuff like this, stuff like that, stuff like this. Okay, okay. Do you know what? Why I haven't really like done a lot of video recording lately is because I've been trying to like do some shopping like for the coronavirus, you know how it is. Um, when you hear something going down, you think, oh, you know, we better go and join them because we can miss out. Anyway, guys, so I chop up this uh, cabbage. Okay. It's still a beet, really. Do you know my mum? She used to love using the long stems when we were uh, younger, so you could find a lot of the stems. So I'll just cut some of this off. I know some of you are going to think, mate, mum. Hey, okay, okay. Oh, add some more. One, two. Yeah, that bang hat, back on my shoe. Yeah. See, you got some stems. Yeah, now that. So, now, time to cut up the, the silver bead. Because after, I'm going to take it, soak it. I like to soak it, so if there's any bugs in there, those bugs are going to have to swim for their lives, or they're professional swimmers, then they'll still be alive when I go and wash it later. Yeah, but I'm going to soak it with water and let all the dirt, because all the dirt falls down to the bottom, so that's why I give it time to soak it in the water. Okay, before I come along, Give it a good scrub. See why I'm gonna use two silver beets because they shrink down to like almost nothing, you know. So if you use two, you're gonna have enough, you know. So when you eat your food, there's plenty of the coffee seed. Anyway, how's everyone doing with this horrible coronavirus? They're saying that it's a man-made disease. They're saying, you know, it's from bats. But you know what? People have been eating bats for some time now. And I tell you what, there hasn't been any of this, you know? So, you know, it does have in the Bible that these things are going to happen. So, you know, God's word has to, you know, have its circle because God's word is never wrong. Never wrong, guys. So, anyway, I'll be using tomatoes as well. But I put that when I've already uh, tossed this in, the silver beet with the meat. Then I chuck in some tomatoes. When it's too much tomatoes, it's got too much tang, I find. But I do like to chuck it in because with the soy sauce and everything, it gives you that 
you know, that nice flavour to have a bit of tomato. But if you've got arthritis and gout and stuff like that, maybe this is not the kind of vegetable that you'll like. But this one, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. <sighs> I did a bigger bowl for my tomatoes. Boy, <laughs> I'm thinking, it's the lid for my, for my fun. If you the next week down, if I go up, I didn't even see it there. I didn't even think what I was doing. Anyway, I'm just going to get a bowl for my tomatoes. I love my daughter's big bowls, right? So, accidentally, there's one in my house. Don't know how I got there, guys. Don't know how I got there. But I better go and wash these. I'm not happy with myself, right? Because I've got to get cake and water and wash these tomatoes. Because cake and water washes all the dirt off, you know, all off the tomatoes, vegetables, anything. It's just clean and good. Okay, cake and water, man. So good. Cake and water. Cake and water. Yeah, that's how you say it. You know what, guys? Since I've had cake and water, I've been giving, I've been giving my daughter my puffer. She should take the water, but I don't know. You know, some people they think it's you know necessary or whatever. My other daughter says it's just in your mind. No, I know the difference. I know the difference. Let her go. Nah, that's for my daughter. Because when she washes this, she's going to go, How dare you, Mum? How dare you throw me out of the bus? Yeah, that's what happens. See, that's all you need. See, I only use, I might be using the other two tomatoes, so that's all you need just to add in that lovely flavour. Uh huh, uh huh. So I'll say these two for another time. Anyway, I'm going to need another bowl, guys. I like to mix my sauce into a bowl before I put it into any of my cooking. I prefer to do that because I find that it's like an even mixture of what I'll be adding. So, I'll be adding this Maggi seasoning. So, Yeah, I know guys, just trying to keep you entertained when I pour out this, uh, yeah. Then you put in your soy sauce. You don't want it too dark. Then you put in your pepper. This is the uh, oh, I don't like it. Pepper. I like a lot of pepper, guys. Then you put some of this chicken. Pick a thog. <laughs> so I'll put one, two, back of my shoe. And then put in the garlic. <coughs> yeah, my idea. And yeah, I'll get it open. Ah, working out of my lava. I was pressing the jar on it too hard. Yeah, okay. So dramatic. So dramatic. Hey, anyway, that's a big gollop of teaspoon of and a little bit of garlic. Ah. <laughs> Call 911, guys. Bye, my okay. Only young, my Anyway, yep. And then I put. Hey, hang on. See if I. Then I mix it, mix it, mix, 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 mix. Then I put oil. Put oil. I know it's a lot of oil, guys, but don't worry. I don't know what we'll do it. It's fingy majiggy in there. Looks a bit light, so I'll have to put a bit of soy sauce in it. And 
animals are boiling away. The meat is just taking its time because it was from the fridge, so it's still coldy sort of thing. So the water is like taking its time. Anyway, they look like yeah, they were afraid of saucy. So everything's mixed in together, guys. So when you pour it over, it's all mixed in together. I'm not sure about the this because I've already put this and this is pretty salty the other stuff so I'll just wait to see if I need any um, of the rock salt into it anyway guys so these are all the stuff that's waiting to go into the thing into the pots these are all the stuff that's waiting to have their turn and that's what the saucy looks like it's a bit light for my liking I like Oh, it's so saucy. Dark. It may be dark, a little dark, a little bit brown. Yeah, brown. Yeah, that's enough. Get for all over the saucy. Put another log on the fire. Yeah, I better stop singing. Get all copyright. Get all copyright. Leave it out again. Why is everyone being. Oh, my mum's well, she's really good. Thank the good Lord for always looking after us, guys. He's such a loving God. He always looks after us. And there are things out there that's happening, that's coming for us. Um, but I tell you what, it's in the Bible and it's going to run its course. And all we have to do is keep our faith with the Lord, try and do our best for the Lord, because in the end, our behavior will make us safe, you know. Otherwise, if we're still going to be hard-headed and not do what, you know, we we're supposed to do, I guess, we're just going to be screaming out, just like those people when Noah, when God closed the ark. Back in the Noah's days, you know, I'm talking about. I don't want to be one of those screaming people. I hope none of my children are, but I tell you what, they're so naughty. Not like me. I'm a good girl. Ha ha! Sick beast. Anyway, guys. So, time now to peel it and put it in the, the colander. Hey, look over there. <laughs> I peeled one earlier just to see if it was hot and no, it wasn't hot, it was cool like me, cool like me, like me, me, me. anyway so you peel the potatoes, let it cool completely down on the plate, ready for the food to cook, my meat is still um, boiling away. I want it nicely cooked. But you know how when you stop, like, you think the meat is cooked and then you start chucking in the, the vegetables and stuff like that? And you find out you're eating tough meat. So guys, make sure your meat is cooked the way you want it to be. Because if you're going to have to want those meat to cook properly, that means your vegetables, cabbage, you're going to overcook. So make sure that you cook it right. Hey Laura, see my fries are all cooked and peeled and I want it all faced the right way. That way guys. <laughs> I know, I know, no piggy. But hey, when you see something that looks nice to the eye and you can you know, eat it, yeah, and I've already washed my silver beet, 
washed it about three times because guys when I lifted it up underneath in the water it's got like little twigs dead bugs and it's like sand or dirt or whatever it is see that's why you gotta let it soak let everything drop down first then you take it out to empty out that water pour some more water give the spinach a good scrub and go I ain't done it scrubbing like that, but you know, give it a good wash. Because trust me, there were still little bits and pieces still in there. And sure enough, took it out, still little bits of. Mm, and then the last wash was. was Bob's your auntie. Mm. Okay, guys, just waiting on the meat, and then we're gonna get it going. Wait a while. Mm. It's a lot of, a lot of spinach, it's in the big bowl, but it shrinks down to like nothing so that's why you gotta have two bundles and if you got a, a bigger family make it three bundles and heaps more meat mm -hmm. so guys so i'm warming up the, the wok so i'm gonna pour uh, just a little bit of um oil it's funny when i say little it don't necessarily look little, but anyway, um, yeah. I'm just warming that through, and then so I can cook the onion, right? It's good that it's not over like right now, because you just want to. I cook the onion with a nice meal, you know? Nice meal. I like to brown it. I like to cook the onion brown, you know? Nice and brown. You know why, guys? So all the flavour has come out to the oil. So when you cook your food, there's a little bit of flavour going everywhere. I'm just going to let that cook through. Then I've got my meat in over there. So I'm going to put my meat in here. And I'm going to toss it with um, a bit sauce. And I put together in, in a little bowl. Yeah, it's, it's nice and, you know, Brown, not overcooked, but just nicely browned. Anyway, I'm going to get the meat. I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to get the big thing. I'm going to cut it. Yeah, I need the meat into the wok because the pot that I used before to cook the meat was just right for the meat, but when you add in the, in the silver beet, it's going to need more room to cook. Okay. So. so what I'm going to do, I'm going to toss the mixture that I done previously all over. Yeah, the reason why I wanted to uh, put the, the garlic into the sauce because you know that it's jar of garlic. You know, when you put it into the, the oil, it will just spit out. And by the time you're finished, you're lucky to have any garlic left flavor in it. You know? Oh, the you can smell it. The you can smell what Mrs. Rock is cooking. I know. Anyway, guys. Have a look. Yeah, some of the meat has fallen off the bone. But that's okay. It's a good sign, isn't it? It shows that the meat is nicely cooked. Mm. So guys, I'm gonna end up um I'm wrong to put a bit of um some of the flour. I'm gonna toss a Four tablespoons of 
flour over this. I know it seems like a lot, but trust me, by the time all the water comes out of the silver bean, it's going to be lovely. And it's going to give you that sauce, you know? Ooh, ooh. Hey, hey, you want to find leg air for like? Eh? Maybe I keep you jump around. Stop that. I just turn this slightly down so I can toss in my sugar beet. Always got to be one for the floor. One for the floor, one for you. So, it's going to cook down, it's going to cook down, guys. Yeah, because there's a lot of water in this silver beet. So it will come out as it's cooking, and that flour you had put in is going to be the right amount of flour for that little saucy. But I tell you what. Hey, hey, get in here, trying to take off from the gang. Oh, yeah, yeah, loyalty, loyalty in the pot, please. I would just normally leave it and come back another time and stir it, but because I know you guys are watching and waiting and you know I've got to like speed it up okay so hurry up cabbage now oh it looks right already but you know it's gonna be abracadabra so it'll be gone so you're gonna need more anyway I'm gonna put the second you know what Ooh, nah. Don't be violent to my silver beet. Do not be violent to my silver beet. So if you're not Polly and you're watching and you're going, oh, Steve, look how much you put in there. No, you tell Steve that I said it will melt down. Not melt down, but you know, the leaves will shrivel down and then it's going to be. I am cabbage. See, and the sauce is just the right amount, guys. Just the right amount. Okay, okay. It's good to the to the way I like it. Now I'm gonna just add in my tomatoes. Add in my tomatoes. And I'm gonna get some more pepper because I love pepper. Come with pepper. You're in an Asian restaurant. <laughs> but no, you're in a Samoan cooking uh, segment in a YouTube channel named Fabens. Hey guys. Oh, Wankila, Ia, Oka, Wa, Aulele, Kili. Oka, Le, Aulele. Oka, Oka. If you're pissy, I'm going to pissy. Oh, guys. What about my poor Kenny Rogers passed away? Oh, you know the song I used to sing? I know, you used to sing it. Oh boy, laugh, we laugh, piss it, man, I'm gonna piss it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna piss it, use a song. Don't be like that. I'm gonna sing your song. No, hold time to little. She did that, something. <laughs> anyway, the song goes, you pick the fine time to leave me, Lucy. For oh, hungry children and the crop of fear. You know what I used to think? 
Lucille, I have to go home, man. My husband wants you to go home. It's so sad. But, you know, like always, you don't know the situation, guys, so. Shh. But sad. I could never leave my kids. And, guys, that's all to it. Now it's time to plate it up. the last result everything's cooked and nice and tender I like the cabbage a bit crunchy crunchy so here it is okay fun now guys okay hey I gotta see facts this is lamb guys have a have a bite of the lamb Mm. This is like a cooked meat. So it's completely cooked before you chuck in your cabbage. The sauce is nice. Mm -hmm. The pepper's nice. Have a bite, guys. See how it the middle? Mm. So give it a try, right? If you haven't made it this way, you make it. But if you cook it just like this, good on you then you know this is going to be very tasty. <laughs> Cheers, guys. That's a tropical drink. Anyway, guys, if you haven't made this before, don't forget what I said. Go and buy your ingredients and get cooking. Here you are. Mm. Anyway, I'm going to leave you for now because I'm going to do some eating. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. So delicious. Okay, then. Don't forget, give this video a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed, please do so down there. And you guys all take care out there with the coronavirus, anything. Take care even crossing the road. You, know? you could be hit by a car before that coronavirus gets you. But anyway, have faith in the Lord, because I truly believe if you put him with um, all the trust that you have in you to God and you know just always send the thank you every day to God I always do that because to me I'm so blessed in life you know and we can always say thank you God for all the love and everything that you bless us with whether small or big we're blessed but for now Guys, I'm going to turn off the camera, 
finish up my food, and then I'll see you in another video. Wait a fast food for Ha, 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 ha.